Welcome to the Inner Priestess Podcast, helping intuitive and empathic women learn to trust, recognize, and embody the priestess within. I'm Elizabeth, also known as She Who Walks With Women, and here's today's reminder that your intuition is real, the earth is sacred, and you're more powerful than you can imagine. Today, we're going to uncover what exactly a priestess is and how to know if you're meant to walk the path of a priestess in this lifetime. This is a term that I use often. This podcast is called the Inner Priestess Podcast, but it's also becoming a trendy term, which creates some confusion around it. Anytime a term starts gaining mainstream popularity, like witch and empath have in recent years, we lose the essence of what they mean. People tend to jump on a trend and claim to be a priestess without actually knowing what that means, and then we view that content and receive a distorted image. This is a major problem in the spiritual community. There are a lot of people in this field who want to project a certain image, but they haven't done the work behind the title they claim, or they haven't done the work to understand the message that they're sending. So firstly, I was initiated as a priestess in 2016, 14,000 feet up in the Andes Mountains, in the womb of the earth, by a priestess and a shaman. There was education, There was deep, transformative work and ceremony and sisterhood, but aside from that, I say that my true initiation happened alone on the mountainside, just me, Mother Earth, and the goddess herself. I talk about this experience a bit more in an earlier podcast episode if you're curious, but I want you to know that I'm not just spouting off information and claiming to be different. I studied for 13 years before my initiation and have continued to study since then. I've had incredible teachers, but it wasn't easy. The trials were challenging. Many times I was at death's door, sometimes begging to be let in, it seemed. But that's part of the unique lessons that brought out the gifts that I use as a priestess to this day. So what is a priestess? Well, some definitions are a woman authorized to perform the sacred rites of a religion, a woman regarded as a leader, a woman who has officiated sacred rites, and a female priest of a non-Christian religion. Let's go a little bit deeper into that, though, because as a priestess, your job isn't to get up on a podium and just perform a series of ceremonial actions. Evolutionarily, women have an ability that men don't. That's the ability to shift between realms, to live with one foot in the physical and one foot in the energetic realm. This is just how we've evolved. We need this ability to bring a new soul into the world, but also to keep that child alive. We are highly attuned to our environments and the energy around us. We intuitively know where to find food, if we need to move to a new region, if a threat is on the horizon. We are so highly sensitive and aware of our environment and able to predict the most likely outcomes based on the energy around a situation. You don't have to be a mother in this lifetime to have this gift. This is just naturally who you are. You're able to sense the energetic while in physical form. A priestess is basically a step above that. She uses her energetic abilities to not only sense into the energy of a situation, but to influence it. She may perform rituals where she is able to feel, shift, or balance the energy of a situation, or she may lead others in how to do this for themselves through certain actions, medicines, or prayers. This is where the role of a leader comes into play because you have the unique ability to understand what your community needs to maintain balance, not just for the short term, but for the generations to come. You're not just looking at the immediate result, you're looking at the long term as well as the ripple effects and understanding how it all lines up with the bigger picture. You don't need to follow a certain religious path in order to be be a priestess, and in fact, I would encourage you not to, at least initially. Because your gifts and your capabilities in terms of sensing and influencing energy are unique to you. They may be undeveloped now, but as you progress down this path towards your role as priestess, it's important that your perceptions aren't clouded by anyone else's definition of what you're capable of. You need your freedom to discover your purpose and your power in this lifetime. Your unique gifts are making themselves known now because they're exactly what we need in the world at this moment. They're not by accident. They're all purposeful, and so is the timing. It's important that you learn about your abilities and your power, not try to follow someone else's path. So now we know that a priestess is a woman who has a profound understanding of her ability to sense energy and is able to harness her unique power to influence it. 
So how do you know if you're meant to be a priestess or if you just have run-of-the-mill intuition? There are four key questions, I'm sorry, three key questions I want you to ask yourself. The first is, have you ever experienced energetic sensitivity? We are conditioned to brush our energetic sensitivity off as, quote, women's intuition or see it as a coincidence, but your experiences are a signal that you're meant to use your gifts in a big way in this lifetime. These experiences will be unique to you. While there will be similarities in how we each experience our energetic sensitivity, the way they show up for you will depend on your individual strengths and your interpretation. Some of the ways you may have experienced energetic sensitivity are vivid dreams, past life dreams or dreams of the future, flashes. These are images that flash across the screen of your mind very quickly. Often these are combined with another form of insight, like a feeling, a knowing, a smell, a sound, or even a word along with that image. You could have felt or understood what what someone else was feeling. Sometimes this is a sudden wave of emotion that doesn't make sense to you because you haven't realized that you're picking up on someone else's energy. This could also be a deep feeling of connection with nature and animals. Energetic sensitivity can come up in so many ways, so ask yourself, Have you ever experienced something that felt like it was more than just a physical experience? Maybe something you couldn't explain. This is a sign that you are meant to use your energetic abilities to create change and lead the way. Question number two. Do you feel strongly that it's important to develop your abilities? There are a lot of people who go through life with very little interest in the so-called coincidences that they experience. But some of us feel really curious about what it all means. We realize that there's no way this can all be a coincidence, even if we still have moments of doubt here and there, and we start looking for answers. You'll also notice that if you avoid your sensitivity or repress your abilities, they end up pushing back. They keep being pushed into the the forefront of your mind and your experience. This is actually a well-documented experience in communities that still honor the gifts of shamans, medicine women, and priestesses. They know that if you try to avoid this path, life is going to become harder and harder, and the challenges you face are going to be front and center in your life until you start to pay attention. In short, your sensitivity eventually becomes undeniable, and you feel like you need to discover the answer. Question number three. Do you feel like it's important that we live more in tune with nature and the cycles of the earth and the moon? This is probably linked to a vision or a dream that you have of what you want for your life, or a feeling that you can't shake about the direction we need to take as a species, and it's a sure sign that part of your life's work is to help create this new vision, to bring this reality from the energetic realm into the physical realm. You can sense not only that the earth needs us to step up and stop the patriarchal pillaging that's been running rampant, but that we're at a turning point where now is the time to decide which path we take, and you have a a role to play in that shift. You likely also feel called to the cycles of the moon, understanding the moon's energy, and living with a more natural flow of life altogether. This is part of the ancient feminine wisdom that has been suppressed and almost erased from our collective consciousness, but it still lives within you and is oftentimes awakened by the light of the moon. There's an energetic memory that's awakened within you. There are many other signs that you're meant to be a priestess. We each have our own individual experiences that are linked to this calling, but these three will likely apply to all of us. Being sensitive to energy having a strong curiosity about your energetic sensitivity, and feeling strongly about living more in tune with the natural world. You may also be drawn to healing techniques, and this may come from a really tumultuous life path of your own, where you had to learn to self-heal, or it it could also just be a feeling that you want to help, even if you don't know how or even who. We'll need a whole episode to explore that, but being drawn to helping and healing can be an indicator that this path of the priestess is meant for you. The fact that you're listening to this now is a pretty sure sign that you're meant for this path, to be a priestess in this lifetime, and to use your ability to sense and influence energy, to create balance, to help us shift our trajectory and choose our new path, to help right the wrongs of our current society and help us heal. If any of this resonates with you, 
I would suggest spending some time journaling or even making a note in your phone and letting your thoughts about the word or concept priestess flow. And even if you didn't, don't resonate with what I'm saying, don't let that exclude you from exploring this path. Keep following your own inner guidance. The path of the priestess is a challenging one because like, like I've mentioned in previous episodes, the patriarchal structure worked hard to suppress your gifts and to hide the path to your power. I've laid out the first few steps for you in a free video course. So if you're at all curious about not only understanding your energetic abilities, but learning to harness them and to find your purpose, head to my Instagram page, which is one word, she who walks with women. Click the link in my bio and click on the free video course or just send me a, a, a private message if that's easier and I'll help you out. So as always, your intuition is real, the earth is sacred, and you're far more, more powerful than you can imagine.